the butane has failed, yes, and uh, the butane, as people of Kabushi, we can't say much because our area member of parliament, who happened to be Honorable Rusambo, has never informed us as people of Kabushi. He has never sensitized us on, uh, on the same bill and the contents which were in the same bill. He has never explained to his electorates who happened to be us, the people of Kabushi. So I'm very disappointed with Honorable Rusambo. Very, very disappointed because that's why we sent him there. We sent him there to represent us, of which, if there's anything that we're supposed to know, which is going on, he's supposed to sensitize us, he's supposed to come forth to us to say, this is what is in the parliament, and this is what we are talking about. Then we can give support to that. If we don't agree, we'll tell him to say, please, this shouldn't come forth to us. This shouldn't go through. It's not about uh, the party. It's about the people. It's not about the party. The party is nothing. People are important. So if the party wants that and you go for the party without uh, informing the people that uh, that uh, elected you, that uh, entrusted you with, uh, with leadership, then we are heading nowhere. If that is the kind of leadership that we are going to follow, then uh, I don't see Zambia going far in, uh, in development because people are supposed to be informed. As we know, democracy is for the people. And we are the people, who is the government? We still don't understand why should the Bill 10 be the campaign to decampaign others? Because the fail of the Bill 10 is lack of consensus. If, uh, if they tell us, they were, they were in Parliament, and in Parliament what was happening there it was debate. If they can't convince uh, the other part, which is the opposing part, which, is the, which happened to be the opposition, if they can't convince them to why they wanted that uh, amendment bill to go through and uh, it fails, that was their job to do. They were supposed, to, they were supposed to, to make those people understand and be convinced to say this is the right thing for, for us, they, they are voters. Now, where we find it difficult to understand is where you have the area member of parliament who can't sensitize you on the same uh, debate that they've had and today they come and campaign using the same failing bill to say these people didn't want this to happen can they tell us exactly what was in the bill exactly what the contents were inside that bill let every zambian know and understand just like they did on coronavirus they should do it on this same bill people should understand to from this if this will be the campaign let them debate and uh, in fact they shouldn't even debate because it's a past thing because we're supposed to to forge ahead as a nation and see the way forward that bill has failed if they want to use it as a campaign to let them tell us what exactly in the bill let them tell us everything which is in that bill we should understand as citizens once they do that, then we will know to say these are the right people to interest with the national affairs. These are the right people to interest in leadership. And uh, the, the same people and the other people who, of, or, who, who, who oppose the bill to go through, they should tell us to why they didn't vote the bill to go through. They should tell us this is why we, we didn't want the bill to go through because there was this and that. There was this and that. Because from the beginning of it, oh, we heard that there were a lot of lacunas in the bill. That we, those others things that we can't even understand. So they were supposed to tell us to say, when we talk about this, this is what we mean. When we talk about that, this is what we mean. Today they're saying they, didn't, they don't want youths in parliament. This is why they didn't vote for the bill 10 to go through. Should that be the case? Should that be the case, honestly? If sh that should be the case, then let them tell us everything, apart from the, the youth representation in the parliament, apart from the disabled representation in parliament, Tell us other things which were in the bill because there was not, there were a lot of uh, things in that bill that we still don't understand up to now that has been not talked about up to now. Let them tell us so that we will know who are the right people to entrust with leadership and who are not the right people to entrust with leadership.